Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Great, I slept like a baby. This is Dragon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Dragon. Dragon, I which is Charlie in English. We are going now to see and meet the visionary Vitska. Vitska. Many Americans will say Vika. It's V I C K A. That's how we. You know, spell it and pronouncing is Vitska. Church, church to your right. Ooh. Let me just tell you just the two tiny little things before I sh share with you a little bit about the Vitska visionary. Our lady had planned with this parish. We didn't know why. You know, we ask ourselves why. We didn't know why. But if you just go back to history, when we dedicate each, this uh, church to, to St. James. First of all, St. James is not that popular saint among the Croatian Catholics like St. Anthony, St. Francis. You know, we have our, this, this was the only St. James parish in the entire country. And we said, why St. James? And then 80, 1892 is the whole church that we have. And then we built, we started building this one in you know, 1934. But now, after almost 100 years, we realize why. Because St. James is a patron saint of pilgrims. You know? So, 1892, no one would think that this place will be a place where pilgrims from all over the world, you know, will come looking, you know, for God, you know. So, it makes sense. Vizca is the one who was given, her family, was given two sets of rosary that I will show you later when we climb the Apparition Mountain. From heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary put those two sets of rosaries in a low, you know, track when the, her brothers, three months before the Apparitions, when her brothers were sent by mom to cut the woods in the forest for the fireplace. And then they spent three months trying to find who lost the rosary. And then when Vizca become a visionary, the first thing her mom asked, why don't you ask the Blessed Virgin Mary about those two sets of rosary that we found on our tractor? And uh, she said, you don't have to, you know, continue on looking because, uh, because I put those rosaries and then those rosaries are for your family. It's a gift. So I will get you to Vizca's upper room where they have the pictures of those rosaries. So Vizca Visionary is the one who's married, had two kids, and she's the one who had the brain tumor. She was cured. She's the one who suffers a lot, and she's the one who prays for sick people. When the talk is over, then she will probably, between 10 to 25 minutes, it will be complete silence. That's when you open your heart and present everything from the Lord, to the Lord and to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Why are you here, who you pray for? Okay, let's go. First of all, I would like to greet all of you. I'm very happy to be standing among you here. But I'm even happier to be able to share with you Our Lady's main message that Our Lady has been giving to all of us. Our Lady's main message is our prayer, peace, conversion, Compassion. And Our Lady recommends us to pray every day all three parts of the Rosary. <laughs> and twice a week, Our Lady invites us to fasting on every Wednesday and Friday on bread and water. But a beautiful thing Our Lady invites us to pray for is to pray for our strong faith. Le mucchie del che 
When our lady invites us to pray, she doesn't want us just to say the words. But instead our lady invites us day by day to open our hearts so that the prayer can really become a joy for us and that we may succeed, succeed to pray with heart. Our lady gave us a beautiful example and she says, all of you in your homes have a flower pot. And if you put just a few drops of water into this flower, every day you will see it growing, becoming a beautiful rose. Well, the same example is with our heart, because if we put just a few words of prayer in our heart every day, we will see it growing, becoming as beautiful as that rose. And if just for a few days we don't put the water into this flower, we will see it vanishing as if it had never existed before. And our lady says it may happen to us very often when the time of the prayer arrives that we might say, I'm tired, I can't pray, I'll pray tomorrow. Then when tomorrow comes, we find another excuse. So practically day by day, we distance ourselves from our prayers and our heart gets influenced only from a bad side. And our lady says, same as a flower cannot live without water, we cannot live without God's grace. But pray with the heart you cannot learn or study. Pray with the heart you can only live in order to be able to go forward day by day. Talking about fasting, our lady says those people who are sick, they don't they do not have to fast a bread of water, but those two days a week they can give up something that they like the most. But when healthy people complain about headaches, stomach ache, or find different kind of excuses not to fast, our lady says, if you do fasting out of love towards God and me, then there is only one thing really missing, and that would be your own strong will. Whenever you're facing a problem or an illness, all of you think that Jesus and me are far away from you. But our lady says, no, we're always very close to you. Mm -hmm. 
All that is says, you just open your heart and then you will be able to see how much we truly love you. Our Lady would like from us to do a little sacrifice, but she would be most content if we would give up sinning and not sin anymore. <laughs> Our Lady says, I'm giving you my peace and my love. You bring it to your families and to your friends around. Our Lady gives her blessing to all of us and she prays for all of us. Our Lady says, I will be even more content to see you in your families, in your communities, praying the rosary together. Because when children pray with their parents, parents pray with their children, united in a prayer like this, Satan cannot do any harm to you. Our Lady says, Satan always tries to disturb us. Wants to destroy our prayers and our peace. Therefore, Our Lady invites us to pray a little bit more, and the best weapon we might have is a rosary in our hand. Therefore, Our Lady recommends us to have with us always a little blessed religious article, whether it's a little medal, a little cross, a little something to be able to resist the Satan better. But Our Lady recommends us to put the Holy Mass in the first place. The Holy Mass is the most important, the holy moment. Because it is during the Holy Mass when the living Jesus comes among us. Therefore, Our Lady invites us when we go to church to accept Jesus without any fear, without any excuse. Our Lady recommends us once a month Holy Confession, and she says, Do not go to confession only because you have a sin. But go to confession also to ask an advice from your priest who can help you to go one step forward. Our Lady is very preoccupied for all young people in the world. Because young people are going through a very, very difficult time. And we can help them only with our love and prayer with heart. And Our Lady says, dear young people, what today's world is offering to you is passing, is of a passing value. Satan is trying to use every free moment wanting to destroy us 
and it's obvious that today is mostly working for young people wanting to divide our families. But our lady says, these moments are moments of great graces. <laughs> Our Lady would like from us to accept her messages and to live them. And Our Lady invites us to be the carriers of her peace and to pray for the peace in, in the entire world. But in the first place, Our Lady invites us to pray for the peace in our own heart. Then for peace in our families, in our communities. And then with that peace, to pray for the peace in the entire world. Our Lady says, when you pray for peace in the world and you have no peace in your own heart, that prayer doesn't go that well. Even in this very moment, Our Lady invites us to pray a little bit more, inviting us to pray for her intentions and her plans. Our Lady invites us to take the Holy Bible every day. To read a few lines from Bible and try to live that during the day. Then Our Lady invites us to pray for Holy Father Pope, for bishops, for our priests. In, in fact, to pray for our entire church that is in need of our prayers. But in a special way, Our Lady invites us to pray for one her plan that is supposed to be realized or fulfilled. But Our Lady's greatest preoccupation recently, you can really see sorrow in her eyes when she speaks about that. That is when she speaks about our young people and our families that are going through a very, very difficult time. Our Lady says she prays for peace, so therefore she invites us to pray for the same intentions and to help her with our prayers. Bitska says, even tonight when Our Lady comes to me, I will pray for all of you, for all your intentions, all your families. But you also, at 6.40 p.m., open your hearts and you present to Our Lady all of your intentions. I believe that many of you know that Yaakov and me during an apparition received this beautiful gift, a beautiful grace that Our Lady took us by hand in order to show us heaven, purgatory and hell. At that time we were in Yaakov's family home when Our Lady appeared, she said, now I will take you with me.
e questo non è per accompagnamento assoluto, ma guarda la pena, tu porti visca perché sono tanti fratelli, sono io, io sono l'unico figlio e ecco, pensa che andiamo e non ritorniamo più. In that very moment, little Yakov said, Our Lady, take Vizka, she has many brothers and sisters, I'm the only one in the family. <laughs> Yakov thought they are leaving, never, ever coming back again. Ma io in questo momento penso, ma quante ore, quanti giorni, dove si va, o sopra, o sotto. Vizka says, in that moment I thought, how many hours, how many days, whether we're going to go up or down. E la Madonna presa mi besta mano, e la corsa nostra e la Madonna è avanti e portava. But our lady simply took my right hand, Jacob's left hand, she was in front of us and she took us with her. Ma il tetto si solo ha aperto per passare. A ceiling of all was open just enough for us to be able to go through it. Da un secondo sono venuto in paradiso. Practically within a second we found ourselves in paradise. I saw paradise as an enormous space. And kind of light that doesn't exist here on earth. And I saw persons, all of them more or less the same, no fat, no thin, and all of them had three colors of their dresses. Yellow, gray, and rosy. Tutti girano, cantano, pregano, piccoli angeli volano. And these people walking around, praying, singing, and little angels flying over. E la Madonna dice, ma guardate, quanto sono felice e contento queste persone che sono qui in paradiso. Ma una gioia che non si può descrivere, che non esiste la crisi la terra. And our lady said, look at how joyful, how content are all these who are in paradise. Joy that cannot be described with words. Joy that simply doesn't exist here on earth. Purgatory is also an enormous space. But in purgatory, you, we could not see persons because of the dense fog. <laughs> but you can hear or feel that there are inside people who suffer. And our lady says, those who are in purgatory are waiting for our prayers in order to be able to go to heaven. The first thing I saw in hell was a big flame or fire. Then I saw normal people who were entering in the fire, and the deeper they were going to fire, they were being transformed into kind of wild beasts, and they started swearing, cursing, and doing all these, saying all these bad things against God. And the Madonna says, persons who are in the inferno are going down to their own volition. And our lady says, those who ended up in hell, they ended up there according to their own will. Therefore, all these people who live on earth and do everything against God, they already experience hell. They just continue once they die. E la Madonna dice, ma sono tantissime persone che vivono qui sulla terra e pensano, quando si qui morire si finisce tutto. Because our lady says, there are many people on earth who believe that once you die, everything is over. E la Madonna dice, ma questo è un grande sbaglio, e noi siamo qui solo passeggeri, proprio solo una passeggiata. Our lady says that's a big mistake because here on earth we're just a journey but the true life continues.
ma questo momento più importante un ultimo preghiero è il po' di silenzio anche la Madonna dice ma silenzio fa tantissimo bene cose se lo dobbiamo essere con il silenzio credo in questa grazia a questo momento Mitzka says now we will stay in silence pray but Mitzka is going to pray for our, our for blessing praying over us uh, it's very important that we remain in silence and our lady already said a silence can do so many great things, so be not afraid of silence. We'll stay in silence prayer.